Hey guys, welcome back. In this one, we're going to set up our stats component. Um, so let's create a few functions. Let's head to our BPC stats component. If it opens like this, open the full blueprint editor. Um, all right, so let's create our few, uh, first function. The first function is going to be called get base stat value. Right, uh, it's going to take in an input of type enum e stats that we created in the last episode. Uh, the name we're going to simply name it stats, and we'll now need a variable. So let's create a new variable, and we're going to call this base stats. It's going to be of type enum e stats. Uh, we're going to head right here to the variable type. In the details panel, select this and uh, change this variable to a map. Uh, the other variable in this map is going to be our st base stats, our structure. We compile and save. Now, in our function here, let's uh, get our base stats variable. So we want to drag off of this and we want to say find because we want to find whatever uh, the input stat is I'm going to disconnect this to keep things neat I'm going to say get stat and I'll use the local input of the function so from the base stats we want to find whatever the input stat is of the function and since this is the get base stat value we want to split this struct pin and we want to only return the base value so drag the uh, the pin into the input to create an output and connect this up like so That is all we'll need for this function compile and save We want to create another function called the get max stat value and since it's going to be Well almost the same as this function I'm going to simply duplicate this function and I'll name it instead of get base stat, we're gonna call this get max stat value. Oh, state yeah. So stat value. Nice. Um, so instead of returning the base value, we can remove this output here. And we want to return the max value. And that is all for these two functions. Um, next function is going to be give me a sec yeah so let's create another one called set current stat value now this one is going to require an event dispatcher so let's create a new one and we're going to name this on current stat value updated it's going to take in two inputs the first one is going to be of e stats item so i'm going to name this stat type And the other one is going to be the value. So it's going to be float and name this value. Compile save. Now in the set current uh, stat value function, we want to create two inputs again. So, well, the similar inputs uh, to the dispatcher, so stat type and value. So I'm going to create two. The first one is going to be of type enum e stats. And I'm simply going to name this stat. The other one, value. Now, we want to create another variable. We're going to call this one current stat. And this is going to be of uh, similar to this, so of uh, enum and a float. So this one is going to be the first variable in this map. 
is going to be a uh, enum, which it already is. And the second one is going to be a float. Compile and save. Now we're going to get the current stats and we want to add to it. So we're going to hook this up here, hook the stats up and the value up. Now moving forward, all we need to do is call our dispatcher. Now we need to get, we need to input the inputs of these functions. So I'm going to say get stat. I'll use the input, the local input of the function. And the same for value, so get value and plug it up like so. Um, that is it for this function. And the other function is going to be uh, similar. Give me a second, I'm checking my notes. Okay, so let's do a getter function for this. So we're gonna call this get current stat value. Uh, this function is gonna be a pure function, by the way, as well as the two other getter functions. So get base stat value is gonna be pure, and the get max stat value is also going to be pure. Since they are getter functions, these the set of functions don't need to be pure. Um, so we're going to take an input again of type enum, eStats. I'm going to name this stat. We want to get the current stats variable. And we want to say find. So we want to find the input of the function, which is stat. So let's get stat and plug it up. So we want to find the input stat of the function and return the value. That is it. Um, let's see what else we can make. Hmm. Okay, let's do a, another function called modify current stat value. This will take in a few inputs. Uh, the first one is going to be of type stat, because we don't need a stat to modify. We need a value, so we don't know what value uh, we're modifying. This is going to be of type float, by the way. And the last one is going to be a Boolean to decide whether this stat is a regenerable, regeneratable <laughs> stat or not. Is it if it can regenerate or not? So regenerates should regenerate. And it's going to be a type boolean. Compile save. Um, now we're going to check if the value is not equal to zero. So not equal. We're going to add a branch. So if the stat value is not equal to zero, then we can proceed. Only then can we modify the value then. So we need to get the input of the function. So let's get stat. And we want to call our get uh, current stat value function that we created. And we're going to plug this up. So we want to get the current stat value. And then we want to add it to uh, the value that we are inputting. So let's get value. set that value as a new variable. So we'll create a promote to a local variable and we're gonna call this local value. Now uh, we're gonna get the stat again, the input of the function stat. And we want to get the max stat value now. And uh, we're gonna clamp this local value 
with the max stat value. So we're gonna call clamp float and clamp it to whatever the, the max stat value is. So let's say your current stat value is 50. You don't want to, like when the modify current stat value function is called, you don't want it to pass the max stat value. So let's say your, your current stat is 50 and the max of that specific stat is 100. You don't want it to pass 100. So that's why we're clamping it here. And then we are resetting the local value. So it's updating the local value. And from there, we want to call our set current stat value function. So that will be our new, this value will be our new value. And we want to duplicate this input of the function for the stat again and plug it up. Now from here, we need to add a branch. And we're going to right click and search for gets should regenerate. This is the input of the function, by the way. And from there, we want to call uh, another, another event. Um, this is going to be a custom event, so a quick way is if you right click and hit T and full stop, we can create a custom event really quick. Um, and we're going to call this stat regeneration. Um, this is going to take, take in an input of type enum e stats. We're going to call this stat type. Compile and save, and we'll get back to this in a bit. Um, now we're going to call the function stat regeneration. And this stat that we want to regenerate will be whatever the input of the function is when we're modifying the value. Right, um, compile and save. And that will be it for this one, guys. In the next video, we'll uh, create the re remaining functions and close off our components. So yeah, see ya.